Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Oracle of Love for Singles. This is an in-depth reading um, to see who's coming in towards you. For those that were after a private reading, please feel free to contact me on my email which is listed below in the show more section. I'll also have an extended version of this reading uh, about this person that's coming in, their past relationship and how your relationship will be. Now that's in the extended. Otherwise, we'll get straight into the general read and see who this person is that's coming in for you, Aquarius. Oracle of Love Singles. Who's coming in towards uh, all the Aquarians? What kind of person is coming in for the Aquarians? Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. This is a strong water sign that could potentially be coming in, a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. This is someone who's emotionally available. So this is someone who is wanting commitment. This is someone who prides themselves on how well um, they're, they're able to connect with people in relationships. The Queen of Cups is this beautiful energy that this person is coming in with. This is the Holy Grail for a lot of you. This is someone you could definitely fall in love with. This person could be already around you now. There could be already an, um, a connection between the two of you because we do have emotion with these cards here. This could indicate this person might already be a friend or um, someone you hold in high regard, someone that you have a lot of respect for. It could even be a dear friend and then eventually it turns into something much more um, uh, romantic. But uh, I do think there's a very beautiful connection coming in with the Queen of Cups from this person. Strong potential to have a happily ever after. This is someone who is wanting commitment. Uh, this is someone that is, um, you know, um, available. This is someone who's emotionally available and um, wanting to give you that commitment that you're searching for with the Queen of Cups. They could like, oh, we see her holding this uh, golden adorned chalice. So this person, okay, you've had the Ten of Cups flip over. This person could um, could work with antiques or like antiques. Uh, maybe they're fascinated by a certain period of history where these golden chalices were made. Maybe it's the medieval age or so, or um, they might like to uh, collect a certain, you know, um, a certain thing here whether it's these golden chalices or antiques or something like this with the queen of cups as well possibly moving on to the ten of cups this is a person who comes from a very very good um, family they're quite family oriented which is nice they're wanting a family in the future there's children around them so this could be nieces nephews their own children maybe or they're wanting children they're uh, they're quite maternal or paternal they're definitely someone that would be a beautiful or would make a beautiful parent. <clears throat> they just have that sort of natural ability, uh, that very nurturing side to them with the Ten of Cups. Um, as I said, they come from a really, really good family here. They're quite optimistic. Um, it's possible that you could even meet them or know them somehow through your family, through neighborhood friends. It could even be someone, say for example, if you are a parent and you already have children yourself, you could meet this person through some sort of school or child education event um, where you're introduced to this person. So you may already know of them, know their name, know their face, but you'll get to know them on a much more deeper level here with the Ten of Cups. Really, really positive. I think this is um, someone who is quite optimistic and quite... Um, outgoing much like yourself Aquarius but I feel <clears throat> this person will really bring you a rainbow and it's almost like you'll be thanking thanking the universe for this person how they've come in and how they've changed your life um, they're definitely wanting to offer you commitment so that they're, they're after a relationship with the ten of cups again strong water energy cancer Pisces or Scorpio with the cups or someone who is quite um, in tune with their emotions. Okay, Eight of Swords. This person might have um, an anxious tendency. This person might be fearful of getting hurt. 
I feel like there's a blindfold on with the Eight of Swords. This person might have been, might have had opportunities in the past, maybe to settle down, but they've been blinded to the opportunity. Or there's something about an unveiling coming up with the Eight of Swords. We can see this with this, um, with this person here. We can see that they've got a blindfold on. And they're not seeing something something has to be unveiled or uncovered so it's almost like you'll see them in a new light so there's a strong inclination here that you already know this person or you they're um, familiar in the neighborhood or the community and it's almost like this blindfold will be lifted uh, for them and for you this is air energy so you are air um, Aquarius so this could be you but it's almost like something will change and you might see them in a different light it's all about taking that blindfold off so it's almost like someone is going to maybe reveal, this person might reveal themselves to you um, pretty soon. Again, it could be like this anxiousness or anxious tendencies. Um, it could even be like we see these are the swords lined up here. So maybe you've had a lot of options around you, Aquarius. Maybe there'll be this unveiling and you'll see this person. <clears throat> you'll see them for for who they could be, for the relationship they could potentially offer you. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. This is really nice. This is um, quite a kind of family reconciliation as well with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like they do come from a large family. Uh, they have a lot of family events they attend. And again, this sort of connection, this might be how you meet. Again, through family Possibly through the workplace because the pentacles can represent career, money, finances and assets. But I see children around here as well in these cards. Look, you can see children and dogs. It's sort of like a family feel. Possibly meet through family, through the neighborhood, neighborhood communities, hobbies, volunteer work, in a, at a park maybe. But it's somewhere where there's lots of families around. It could even be an educational institution, a university, a college, a school as well. This could be sort of how you meet. Um, and for those that don't have children and um, don't partake in these sort of things, I feel it could. this meeting could happen through a family friend, um, someone you know quite close, maybe from childhood as well. So that's, there could be an introduction here happening. But the Ten of Pentacles can indicate that this person might have a family business um, or might work for a company or a corporation that is run by a family or has been passed down uh, generation through generation um, within within that family. There is a lot of wealth. I feel like they come from a very wealthy family, potentially, um, a family that has assets. This person could have a lot of investment properties as well. They're quite um, They're quite good with money, I feel. And it's almost like they've got preparation for the future some way. I think they're quite... Um, they're quite responsible with the Ten of Pentacles um, and they're, 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 they're definitely social. So I think you'll very much enjoy this aspect of them, but they're very responsible at the same time. It's almost like they're a complete package to you. So this is exciting. I like what the cards are telling us. This is Earth energy though, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo that's coming in with this sort of energy here. So they might have that energy, that those, those elements in, in their chart. So this is grounded, stable energy with the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone who is, I feel as though their parents might have been together quite a long time and they're wanting this sort of same commitment. They want this sort of long-term, really special bond that their parents or their aunt or uncle has and they're trying to emulate that sort of connection, that sort of marriage and love. So I see them coming from a good family. They could work with finances as well. Finances or, finance or with children possibly. Or again, maybe with antiques. Um, so they could be an account manager. They might man It could be in real estate as well. They might sort of manage. It's something to do with finances, but it somehow ties in with families. So home loans maybe. Um, accounting. Okay, the Tower card. Uh, I feel like they're, they're coming in really strong and when you meet them, it's going to be like everything will just change for you with the Tower card. It does talk about destruction though. 
So it could be one of you, maybe you Aquarius, maybe them, one of you um, might somehow contribute to the destruction or to this sort of sudden jolt or to this sudden shakeup that might happen between the two of you. Now, I'm not sure if this could be because of anxiety of previous issues, maybe jealousy issues, maybe someone else is coming in. I don't think so. I don't think there's an ex. I don't see anybody else in the picture here. But I almost feel like this could potentially be self-sabotaging behavior with the tower card. Um, it's either one of two things. You take them for granted and you see that they're so available to you that you feel maybe you're not as invested because of this, you know, and it's, that's sort of the human condition. Or it could be that the fact that um, your bond to them is so strong with the Queen of Cups here and you do see potentially a happily ever after in a future with this person with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles that you somehow try to sabotage either through jealous behavior, either putting a label to something too quickly. So it's almost like a caution for you, um, Aquarius, with the Tower card here. Again, there could be major things happening around them, around this person at the time you meet. Um, there could be sudden shakeups around this person with work, with finances, um, with friendships, with partnerships as well. So there's just this sort of tower moment that could be looming between the two of you. But again, we do see this lightning bolt and we see that two people are falling. So it could be analogous to falling for each other, falling in love. And we see this sudden bolt of lightning and we think, wow, okay, maybe things are happening really, really quickly. And it's just really sudden. And next thing you know, you're both falling head over heels for each other. So we can look at it in that light too, Aquarius, because you do have very positive cards elsewhere. Um, let's put out some more cards about this person. Okay, we have the Empress. Really, really influential person coming in here. They could hold quite a senior position at work. They could be quite successful, uh, very, very attractive. You'll definitely see that they're very um, established. They have a lot going for them, Aquarius, and this is definitely going to attract you. They're, they're quite attractive. They're articulate. They're established. They have goals. They have aspirations. Uh, they make things happen. It's almost like there's a magic or there's a certain aura about them because we see this Empress here. And she has what looks like the sun radiating around her. So you'll see them, you could potentially see them as a saint, see someone that's quite godly and family oriented um, and very, very good for you. But it's almost like there's a certain aura, like they're glowing somehow. And you'll just be really attracted to this energy they have around them, which is, I think, for the most part, really, really inviting and really warm energy. I think they're quite friendly. They're quite warm. Uh, we do see this empress and she's topless here. So there's a strong sexual energy to them. They're very sexually attractive. Um, they could have a very high sex drive as well. And with the empress, I just, I feel like there's, they're, um, I think they're going to be quite important for you in one aspect. So if they're not important for you already, Aquarius, say for example, you know them and, and they're a dear friend, then I think they're coming, the, the way they'll come in, they'll really change things for you. Again, we see this sudden lightning jolt. We see this aura, this sun radiating around them. I feel there's, I feel you'll be really encaptured by this person. And you'll just be drawn to it. And it's almost like you'll be asking yourself, how did I not see this before? Or how, what is this person doing to me? Why do I feel so magnetically, karmically drawn to this person? And there's potential, as I said, with the Queen of Cups for a very beautiful union for the two of you to come together. The Chariot. This is a strong Cancer that's come in. Uh, very strong energy here. This is all about drive and acceleration and movement. There's a lot of progress that will happen with this person. We see the black and white sphinxes here. Or they look brown and white here, but there's a beautiful balance of yin and yang energy. You will complement each other in a really beautiful way. This relationship, there's a lot of progress. There isn't much stagnancy. Things will flow. It's almost like a whirlwind romance, Aquarius. So this is really exciting. Uh, again, this does speak about success. This person could be quite successful. You know, we have that. We have a lot of um, beautiful. We have the queen here. We have the empress. We have that chariot. We have a lot of beautiful um, energy that's coming in. That's very. 
this this strong force that's coming in with this person something to do with mobility possibly as well they could work in the automotive industry um, or they might be on the road a lot maybe but if if not around the time you meet them then later in life I feel like they'll have or they'll hold a very senior position within a company or potentially have their own success through a through an a creative idea of their own with the um with the chariot here but this is a strong cancer that's coming in so far um further supported by the rest of the cups as well i do see the empress as a um traditionally in the rider weight deck i do see the empress as a earth sign but in this particular um in this particular deck i see her as an aries so there could be a cancer male female or an aries could be Leo or Sagittarius as well. I'm thinking Aries most prominently because the sun is quite large around her. So um, an Aries or a Cancer male that's coming in and coming in in a really, really big way. Okay, the world card. They're quite worldly, quite well-traveled. You could potentially meet on travels or they have family elsewhere in the world. So they could have heritage links um, or they could have family bases, you know, different nationalities or somehow have um, family living all over the world. They're quite worldly, though. Um, we see someone playing a harp here. So it's almost like maybe they could be quite musical, quite creative in that sense. Uh, maybe they have goals to travel the world or maybe they want to open up a family business or help run a family business um, somewhere with the world card. Again, they're here to open up new doors for you. You're going to create a new world. Again, world, this 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 connection that anything is possible. It's it's cyclical. It's eternity. There's possibility to spend potentially the rest of your life with this person, travel with them, see the world. Okay, the magician, a strong new beginning coming in with this person. The magician is often seen in this deck as, as inundating the, Ni the river Nile annually. So it's almost like fertility could come about. So possible unplanned pregnancies with the tower card here, yes. Um, or a pregnancy that solidifies your relationship as well, makes it more... Um, makes it more permanent makes it more stable and there's security with this person they do want children though so i don't see them necessarily turning around and saying they don't want the pregnancy uh, with the magician card here but a beautiful new beginning that's coming in again this is someone that's really going to make an impact on your life um, in for one reason or another strong aries potentially with the magician But we do have green here. So in this deck, it could be someone that is earth energy. Green like the earth. Like this person could have their own business as well or could be starting to um, implement their creative plans into a business or pitch an idea or so. Star card. This is definitely fate that's coming in. This is, you know, it's your energy. You rule the stars in Aquarius, but it's also them coming in in a really, really big way. It could be a fellow Aquarius that's coming in as well for you, but this person is fated to be in your path, fated to be in your stars. It could be just, it's. I feel like there's a really strong connection, like this person is, is placed in your path for a reason. They're going to heal you with the Queen of Cups. They're healing you with the Star card. Um... They're offering you a lot of emotion. There's abundance coming in and it's almost like magic. Things will fall together so effortlessly and it will just flow and you'll just feel really secure with this person. With the star card, this is a strong attraction. There's vulnerability, but it's almost like you'll expose yourself completely and there's nothing that will be hidden because you'll want to share your life with this person. You'll want them to very much be a part of your life journey and vice versa. So this is a beautiful connection that's coming in. Um, again, this could be someone that works in production, someone that's famous or someone that's in a very well-respected, high-revered job or industry. Um, and it's almost like you know this person's face. You've seen them before. Maybe you've crossed 
paths with them earlier in life. Maybe you see them at your local park. Maybe you see them dropping the kids off to school. So there's some sort of notion that you've, you've had your eye on them for a while. Or if this is not you, then they've come across you before. They've seen you, Aquarius. They've had their eye on you for quite some time. But look, I'm going to leave it at that. I will be moving on to the extended reading now, and I, which will be looking into this person's past relationship. And then how you will feel about each other in your own relationship, how they will feel and how you will feel. So for those wanting to join me on Vimeo for this extended read, the link will be below. Otherwise, really excited for you, Aquarius. You have someone extra special that's coming in. I wish you all the best with it um, and with this newfound relationship. Thank you again for joining, watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, and hopefully we'll chat soon. Thanks again.